All right, everybody. So, this is my uh, season one, uh, episode two now. So, we started off on a 365. Uh, we started on the month of April. Normal. Uh, and here's the profile. Hunters have not been enabled yet. So, let's go ahead and continue where we're at. Uh, show you how far I've gotten. Um, heads up, the house is a little chaotic. You're going to look at it and be like, what is going on here? And I, I was saying the same thing myself, too. Trust me. I was like, what is going on? But there's a method to the madness. So uh, remember, we started off here. This is the upstairs. And, you know, you came down to here. And I, I wanted the, the bottom of the base to be, like, right next to the water. And so... I'm still trying to decide if this is going to be like the main entrance where I'm always coming in from the water because I do come in from the water quite a bit or from the top. I'm still trying to decide. So I do want to have an elevator. And so, you know, the question is where am I going to put that elevator? It's going to be, have to be in a spot that goes up through all the uh, the levels. So it's kind of like pre-planning. Um, I did watch one of the guys that uh, watches me. His name is uh, Chris. And, uh, you know, he built his base, like, right over there on the water. And I really like the design and the way he built it because it just makes so much sense. You know, it's like, you know, here with the, you know, having the rock, you, you know, you have, you know, very little, like, I don't know. I don't know. So I'm, I'm thinking, like, having literally nothing up here. Like, it looks like it's empty, but then you come down here, and you're like, oh, wow, here's the base. Like, this is where the base is at. Like, this is where it's all happening, like, right above the water. So, um, I still haven't quite locked myself in on it, but let's go ahead and get started. So, um, we need we need resources, people. We need lots and lots of resources. So, that's what we're going to be doing now. Uh, we, we I went ahead and just... I just set up, I believe, like two days ago. Uh, well, on day like eight, you know, I set up the um, the BCU, and so yeah, but yeah, I mean, the way he had his base design, you know, I think his base like like centers like right here, goes up, then it goes like over the water, type thing, and. I mean, it was just really cool. So, great idea, Chris. I, I, I really enjoyed watching your video. I learned a lot. Um, you know, the, the guy has over 4,000 hours in the game. Now, you got to ask yourself, you got to, you know, take this in. Like, 4,000 hours of playtime in the game. That's a lot, guys. That is amazing. That is truly a lot for one game. Like, that, that is really true dedication. I mean, awesome. But, yeah, so, again, so I'm trying to decide, like, is there going to be an upstairs now? Or is there not going to be upstairs? But, yeah, so I ran out of nails. I ran out of resources. Um, so I'm, like, kind of really just trying to see what we're going to do. But, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So... I finally just made the, um, and here's the BCU, which I'm probably going to have to move, but eventually, but for now it's okay. So I just made the, um, the power storage. The next thing that we're going to have to do is going to be the, um, the mass storage. So our vitamins are extremely low. Let's go ahead and start putting some of our resources away. It's a little chaotic right now because I'm still trying to find the, the, the right balance to put all this together as you can tell like with this here I moved this because I, I was moving the pieces around to get everything down there kind of situated so yeah this is this is gonna work though I, I truly believe it's gonna work so but I what's important is we got the uh, The wood burning stove, we got that baby together, so that was important. Okay, we don't want that baby to go out, so we're definitely gonna do. Did I even? Yeah, and I even had some fat in there. Look at that. We already got some 
some collection. Got to remember always, guys, to take your ash out because you can use that like for fertilizer. It's important to always take it out because when it hits 300, it just stops at 300. So you want to make sure you don't, you know, waste that. So we definitely got some building to do. Uh, nails are like in short supply, but we I made a bunch of arrows now, so we are good. So we do have the ability now to do a little bit of hunting for food. As you can see, vitamin is going to be important. Uh, I definitely, I'm, it's going to be very important to get a fridge up as quick as possible. And for that, we're going to need a um, uh, a refinery, a forge, so that we can start smelting. And then, on top of that, we're going to need to uh, set up a at least one solar panel before you can even do that, or have a generator. So let's get started. This is my go-to kelp. This is very important. It's what we're going to need right now. Let's see if we can get at least five of them. You know, ten would be even better. Yeah, it looks like it's going to rain. There we go. Another kelp. Beautiful. I thought I saw one down here too. Yes, I, we did. And there's some then we're going to go back up to the top. We do have a pickaxe, so we're definitely going to need that. Then got to get the uh, sandstone, because we are going to need lots of glass eventually too. So, and when we get that refinery up, we got to first make a bunch of metal. So we'll start with the metal, and then after that, the copper. That'll get us in the first. Uh, Get our generator. That's going to be important, and we're going to need a uh, couple solar panels. But I have been farming uh, a lot of. Um, I have farmed a lot of uh, lithium. Oops. So what we're really going to be needing is going to be. Um, we're gonna need a lot of um, obsidian, so we're not gonna do the obsidian now, we're, but we will definitely be doing the obsidian uh, soon after this. I'll probably do that between days uh, 10 to 20. So I will then farm a bunch of obsidian. I think I got almost 100 uh, lithium, so I am super prepared. Um, to make a bunch of circuit boards. Oh, that looked like there was something on the edge of that, on the back end. So, what we're going to do now, let's get up here to the top. Let's look and see if we can see something. Any crates or anything? Something worth going to the edge? Now the question is, do we go that way? Uh, there's a box right there, so we're going to go straight. Let's go ahead and eat all of that. Let's drink some water. That should put the water back on up. All right. Let's get this last one. Again, so we're definitely going to be eating lots and lots of glass. So, Yeah, man, I'm really, really, really getting back into this game. You know, I think I'm going to definitely put a lot of... Uh, time and effort in this for the next couple of weeks for sure um, until at least my game comes out which is going to be um, ooh, look at that um, the game that I'm waiting on for is of course uh, Stalker 2 I've actually taken vacation for that so definitely going to be grinding that at least for the beginning when that first comes out Okay, let's we're gonna stop. Let's get that chicken. Got him. That was a that was a quick line up and shot, and that was I I am not gonna lie. That was a really lucky shot. Normally you don't can line up that quick and shoot and still get the hit. So I want to definitely um I think we're just gonna get a little bit of wood. Make sure we don't run out on wood. 
maybe try and get to at least 60. But my overall goal is going to be boxes and or like always. Okay. Okay, so he's over there. So he can keep that the fiber. So we're going to go this way. Let's see if we can't get some boxes. I really want to get some loot boxes. That was also a pretty lucky shot because I could barely see that little booger. There's a box right there straight in front of us. That's good. Beautiful. We got some blueberries to eat so we'll be able to get the vitamins back up at least and keep the water pretty much up in I don't know when what month the bees come out but we're definitely gonna need to have some um, bug repellents so that we can get that honey um, I do like to always try and make sure I get the uh, lady luck tree this is the uh, lady luck tree of course She's a beauty. And I believe there's another one right down there. Uh, I like to look around here. Oops. Uh, the chicken sauce. That's okay. We're still going to get them. Yeah. We also need rope. That's important because I think we're also a little low on rope. Because you need rope in the beginning for quite a bit of things. Now that, my pins, that was pure luck. I am not gonna lie. I could barely see that chicken over the edge of the, of the. Of. All right, guys, we are doing really good right now. We're getting some food. Gonna break it down at the last minute so it doesn't. In a few seconds. There's another lady luck tree. I did see some ore, so let's go ahead and jump on this ore. Oh look, there we go. We found a potato. We're gonna break that down, get the seed, extract the seed. Cause then planters are gonna be another important element that you gotta uh, work on. Yeah, see look, there's a locked box. And of course I don't have another key, but here's a locked box right here, see? So, oh, I heard, I heard a clucking. All right, well that puppy's gonna get away. That's okay. And the reason why I like to get these trees here, Lady Luck, is because at the end of the chop, she gives you a grub, which is what we need for fishing. The reason why we're not taking any cold damage is because I've made me some gear. So in the beginning, you definitely want to make you some clothing as quick as possible. All right, so I think I haven't actually went this way in a long time. I know up there somewhere is I think also a spot for a um, um, the. Uh, Uh, for a cougar so there are plenty of locations where if, if you need to hunt down a cougar um, but they're very difficult um, I'm not so sure that I mean if you need the uh, if I need um, sinew I prefer to get it off of the, the deer or the elk it's a much easier ability to get away from them I think the cougar, he just runs after you until you run out of energy and then he kills you. So, he's not my favorite to want to chase. Copper, I would always tell you if you ever see copper, you take it. And, if, and you know, the map, 
there's all this fog, so eventually you're definitely going to want to unlock it by clearing all the fog out. See, like right there's a deer. Oops, and I missed. Yeah, that was a bad shot. Yeah, and I, I don't know if it's starting to get dark or not, but if it is, uh, we definitely don't want to be trying to, <clears throat> to chase him in the dark, because it's that's a recipe for disaster. Yeah, it's starting to get dark, so let's go ahead and head on back home. We need to hurry up and get back to the base. See if we can find anything worth getting while we're swimming. Um... There we go. <clears throat> Get some more sandstone. We need this to make glass. So, and the glass structures are really cool. You know, the metal structures look really cool also, but I just think the glass structures are awesome. The only thing that I would say if I wish I would the developer could make is if he'd have different skins for the way your base looks. I just think that, you know, the you know, the hunters, they have that camouflage looking base and we've still got the same old wooden box frame type base that we've always had. So let's See if we got any ammo for this baby. So I am going to take him out because I need some fat. Well, I don't need it, but he's in our way. So, oops, he moved, damn it. Crouch. And he hit us. And we're infected. That was a bad... He should never have gotten to us. And then for two pieces of fat, ugh. Okay, guys, so now we need, we and we didn't even get a liver out of all that. So that was definitely not worth it. But we can't argue over spilt milk. So, so basically what's going to happen now is we need to make uh, an antidote. In order to make the antidote, you need liver and we're going to need some fish oil to make these uh, other items. I'll show you when we get back to the base. So, yeah, it was a unlucky move on our part. We probably should have just stuck with the water. Oh, well, it is what it is. We can't change it now. And then, of course, we have no more stamina. So we're just going to... Swim on back to our base, lick our wounds, but this is good. At least I can show you guys now what you need to do to get rid of the infection. Now the problem with the infection is it reduces your stats by half. So now if you notice, my health is not going to go up anymore but to a certain level, and my stamina will only go up to a certain level and stop at that level until we can come up with an antidote. And I don't know if I made one or if I found one in the box, so... And I think we did have one, but I think I already used it once. Um, so that kind of puts us at a um, at an inconvenience, but it is it's okay. So the stamina will go up, I believe. Okay, so then it's just our health that won't go up any higher. Well, uh, that's fine. But yeah, I kind of like my base. It's kind of like the the idea is kind of the on the concept is more like a living off of a cliff type environment you know it's like you you see at the top you come in and it looks simple but then you go underneath it and you're like oh wow this thing is bigger than I thought come on so we might have to put another I got on here last time okay so that's not working guys so we're gonna have to put another ladder unfortunately underneath that so Okay, let's 
let's get inside the base. And let's dry up. There we go. So first things first, we need some food. It's very important. Um, yeah, we can eat this then, I guess. It's not really going to hurt us because we need five of them. But we're also going to need that liver. We still got nine arrows. So that's not bad. Let's drop these nails in there. That goes there. Try and sort it. Eventually, I'm going to have enough boxes where I can sort certain things. But for now, I try and stick with the first you know, two boxes in the beginning until I, I can't get away with just two boxes. We definitely want that seed. Okay, it's almost done there. The rocks, the ore goes in there. That goes in there. The bullets and that goes in there. All right. Okay, and uh, the fat. Oh yeah, the fat can go in here too. And also, when I was watching uh, the other guy that um, also watches me play, I watched some of his gameplay. You can actually put the fat inside the, the stove, which I didn't even know you could. Which I'm pretty sure, uh, I'm hoping, that you actually get more from putting it in the stove than in the, the pot belly thing here. I mean, I don't know, but I can only hope for it. Okay, but we're looking pretty good. So... What we're going to need is we're going to need medicinal tonic. We need three of those, a liver, and five kelp. And that will make us then what we need to heal ourselves. But the good thing right now is we're getting up our, um, our health and everything else up to where it needs to be. Um, the tonic, how many can we make? One, two, three, four. Yeah, unfortunately, we do not have, um, yeah, but let's go ahead and do a little bit of fishing. I guess we can do some fishing. Yep, we still got seven of those babies there. So, so that's fine. It is what it is. Made a stupid mistake. I should have just left the wolf alone, and jumped in the water, and swam back. It was already dark. But, yeah. At the height of everything... Sometimes you just make stupid mistakes, and that was a dumb mistake. But as you can see, from day one to day two, or to day ten now, you see we've come quite a ways. So day 20, hopefully most of the, the foundation for the base should be done. I'm hoping to get at least all that done. Um, get the, uh, the basics so I can get the stuff started, like the refinery. Um, we're going to definitely have to farm a bunch of ore again. I need to farm more stuff for rope, uh, more items for um, planks so that, you know, we can maintain. See, like right over there, it's already starting to get daytime. And there's a uh, copper right there on the wall. There's uh, iron right there. We're probably definitely going to want to get those two. So let's see what we get for a fish. So the fishes you can get, you can get a largemouth bass, you can get a pike, a salmon, and then these two little critter type fish. The, the critter fishes, of course, the ones you don't want because they don't give you but very little meat. Of course, the salmon will give you two pieces of meat. Two piece. The uh, bass gives you four, and the pike also gives you two. So, let's see what we get here. I don't... Oh, it could be. No, it looks like it's a critter fish. Yep, it's a critter fish. Okay, uh, we're just going to take a quick pause. I got to use the restroom. So give me one second. I'll be right back. Sorry about that.
Alright guys, I'm back. Um, let's go get those items real quick that I really want. And then we will get back to fishing. So first things first, now to recoup. We need um, some liver. And so we're probably going to be better off uh, trying to... Oh, well we got to get this tree real quick. Lady Luck has got to give us a grub. We'll look over the edge, see if we can see a wolf or something. Because now we need um, a bear. I just think the bears are just such a waste of resources trying to shoot them. Um, and for the resources you get out of them, it's just so minimal that I just think that if you want to get them, sure. I think there's some achievements for getting like a certain amount of bears and wolves and stuff. But I just think you get so much more. All right. The wolves, you get almost the same, and it uses less resources to get them, so. But if you want to be that Mr. Hunter guy with the trophy, yeah, then you definitely want to get the bears. I'm trying to remember which bears are harder to kill. I think the, uh, I want to say the black bears are a little bit harder. Okay, I'm going to have to look all the way across, because, like I said, we need, uh, I need five kelp now, and then I still need that, uh, we're still going to need that liver too then. So, then it's, and of course, you know, because we need the liver now, that's the problem, is because we need the liver, of course that's going to be the hardest thing. Normally you kill them, and it's like almost every single time you get the liver instead of the meat. So, of course, now, of course, because we need it, of course that's going to be the hard part to get. Oh, look at that, there's a chicken up there. Oh, look at that. He came right down to us. Got him. And I'd definitely like to get the chickens because they give us those feathers. And two feathers will get us four arrows. So that's a, a really good return on your investment. And the rabbits, they give us the hide, which you really need for all the other things. So that's also... A, Good return on your investment. How many arrows we got? We got seven. Just got to keep an eye on our arrows because remember we also need uh, a wolf. And that's going to take a couple shots too. Okay. I need kelp though. So we're going to jump into the water on the other side of our base. So sometimes you can get some good uh, stuff from a pig. We'll see if he... Uh... So he took off running. The problem though, you got to watch out for the pig though, because when he takes like too much damage, he turns to be to aggressive mode, and then he charges at you. So that's why I'm just walking, because I don't want to take a chance that he already goes aggressive. I don't think I've ever gotten a liver from the pig. Right. Hold on, hold on. Oops, we missed them. See, that was a bad shot, guys. That was really bad. That's okay, we get this metal. Wanted that anyway. It's a long shot, and that was a stupid shot. Okay. 
Definitely shouldn't have took the shot, but hey. I thought I had it, you know. <laughs> After making all those other lucky shots. Always look to see if I can find my arrow. See, now there's a wolf. And there's a bear. How many arrows we got left? We only got four arrows left, guys. So, um, well... Okay. All right, we got the liver. So now, let's go ahead and wash our hands real quick. So we have a choice. Let's see how much ammo we got left. See if we got enough. Because we're going to need it for that pig. Okay, that should be good enough. Um, so we definitely need to look for some... Uh, but might as well get the piggy. Finish him off. Yep, so he's coming at us. No, he's not. Oh, okay. How many arrows we got left? We got two arrows left. So I could try and chase down that chicken, but it ain't worth it. But there's some vegetables. A carrot or an onion? Onion. We got the onion seed. That's good. All right. That's the pig? Yes. Yeah, he should come at us now. We got one arrow left. How is he not attacking us? Okay, I guess we got to kill him without him attacking us, so that's okay. I'm not going to complain. Now we need to hurry up and get some kelp. That's going to be very important, guys. Only way you can harvest these guys is with uh, E using the um, using your uh, hatchet. And we also have no more car oh, carrots. We don't have any more um, arrows on us, but that's fine. But now what's important is to hurry up and get kelp. That is the oop. Oh. So that's going to be very important. Piece of metal. Definitely going to get that. So now we need kelp, people. Okay, so. Oop. There's a piece right there. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. There's another piece right there. Make sure it's not close to that bear. Okay. Okay, so I think we're better off now just hurrying up. Just run around here. What do we got? We got four. All right, guys, one more. One more. We're rolling now. We just need one more, then we can make the antidote, and then we'll be fine. Okay, there's a bear. Okay, normally they won't go in the water. But we're not going anywhere close to him. Now, if he was to follow us, we'd be screwed. Because there's no way we could outrun the... So you cannot outrun an animal in the water. Just so you know. If that animal gets in the water with you, you're as good as dead. You can swim to the bottom of the ocean and try and drown yourself. But he'll kill you before you drown. I can guarantee you that. But either way, you're dead. So, like if a, a, a wolf is chasing you, or a bear, anything... The moment they jump in the water, you better get out as quick as possible. Because the only way you're going to outrun them is by actually running. That is it. So let me get out. Okay. There we go. Let's create an antidote. Boom. Oh, that was pure luck, guys. Let, when I, let me tell you guys, when I tell you that making the antidote, it ain't that easy. I'm. Let me tell you, it's not easy. Getting lucky. I mean, we got lucky with that, that's for sure. Let's add some of that. Let's butcher that guy up. Boom. I'll take those two out. Add that, add that. 
Wow, we still had another fish. All right. Wait a minute. I thought we took it. Oh, we made it. Okay, there we go. So we healed ourselves. Let's put that in there. We can put that in there. This, 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 that, this. The seed goes in the other one. All right, we're doing pretty good. Nails also go over there. We got some items for fishing. All right. We eat that baby there too. There we go. Looking pretty good. Drink some water. That meat's not done yet. We still have a few seconds. So we definitely need to make another stair to go down there to that. Otherwise we're not going to be able to get in from the water. Look at that. Oops. So we can't eat it. We're full. Let's go ahead and put that water up in there. Get it back out so we got the full thing of water. We need to get vitamins. Always want to try and keep your vitamin, your health, your food, protein, vitamins, and water as high as possible all the time. That's going to help you be able to run almost unstoppable most of the time. So, while that, this water is doing that, um, let's make some rope. We could definitely benefit from a lot of rope here. I always like to keep it at least 100. There we go. And all right, okay. I think we're going to just oh, look at that. We got some boxes here. Beautiful. There we go two boxes right next to each other. That's nice. That was beautiful. Um, let's go back. I think we might have enough energy to make the mass thing and then we should be good. Oh yeah, so now we can do this. We need those items there. Um, we need this, this, I don't know, that and that. I don't, yep. Okay, let's put all that back up in there. Okay, looking pretty good, people. That baby's still cooking. All right. So you want to keep that thing every time you can make something. Um, the guy that I was watching today, he had like 40 something thousand electricity. Like, you gotta think about it now. Like, and then he had like a thousand mass. Like that, that's crazy numbers there. So I think we're just going to farm a little bit of wood real quick. The day is kind of over. I think what we're going to do after this is we're going to go into the area where you can find obsidian. Oh, that's right. And we need to make arrows anyway. So let me get some wood. We're going to get here later luck over there. And then I'm going to make um, a bunch of sticks. Sticks is something that you always need. So I would recommend if you get like a, a nice stack of wood, just grind out a bunch of sticks. I would say if you got like 30 or 40 logs, turn it all into sticks. And even then, that's not going to be enough. Yeah. See, we got 26, so 
Not enough. Not enough. That's like peanuts. That's like... That's like trying to fill up a bathtub with a, a, a cup of water at a time. That's that, that would take forever. Sticks you use for making the fishing lures, you need those to make, um, you need them, oh look at that, piece of wood, can we actually, oh look at that, we will definitely take that. Alright, so let's go ahead and make sticks out of all of that. There we go. Oh, yeah, you gotta be careful, man. Fall death is a fall damage is a thing in this game. You can break your leg super easy. Oh, there's a box right there. So yeah. I think the next thing we'll make. Oh wait, no, we can't even. We we're gonna have to make a refinery because that's what we're gonna need to then make the the metal pieces so that we can make um, the refinery because that's what we're going to use to make um, the keys, the lock picks. <clears throat> and if you're good at running, then by all means, um, I would make like two or three pickaxes, look lock picks on you, because um, sometimes you actually find more than just one locked crate. Yeah, like there's a deer right there, and we can't do nothing because we have no more arrows. That's why I'm making also those sticks so that we can make some more arrows. But that's okay. Right now, this this will help us focus more on what we need right now, which is important, which is going to be rope. We're going up here to the water spot right here. We're going to jump on in and see if we can't find. Uh... Oh, look at that! There's a bag right there and metal. That's beautiful. Oh, we got an arrow. Alright, chickens or rabbits. Alright, let's see if we can get lucky. Let's see, let's hope for some help. There's one right there. Alright. Well, there's uh, some sandstone. There's a chicken out there, too. Now, generally, I will just chase a chicken down because you you don't you know don't have to waste an arrow on a chicken. But lately, I don't know why, but it's like almost impossible to catch the chicken now. Like, before you could run behind him, and eventually, every time when he got tired and slowed down, you get a little bit closer to him, so that eventually you caught up with him, and then you could pick him up. But I don't know, but lately it seems like you can't even run him down anymore. We saw him, he was close to the water, so we're going to try and come up from behind him and force him towards the water. And that might give us a chance to get close to him then. Making a big earth around him, and he should have been around here somewhere. Okay, he must have already ran then. Oh, 
Oh, there he is right there. We'll just shoot him. Trust me, people. That was another lucky shot. That was like a shot in the blind. But we'll take it. I ain't, I am not gonna shy away from luck. That's for sure. There's another Lady Luck. There we go. That's why we got it, because Lady Luck was right around the corner. Look at her. Right there. Looking out for us. Look at this. And she's got all the wonderful goodies right next to her. Yeah, that chicken took off running right towards the bear. That's yeah, okay. Lady Luck was with the chicken too. So hey, sometimes the Lady Luck is with us and sometimes she's with the chicken. Look at this though. I mean, we're getting plenty of fiber, which allows us to make cordage, which eventually we can use then to make rope. Look at that, making sticks galore. Beautiful. That, nope, that's nothing right there. So, we're going back towards the water. Our base is right over there. So, let's eat the meat. That gets us back up. We can eat that. Butcher the chicken. We can make some more rope on top of that. And now we can make some arrows because we have found some nails too. So, one, two. Oh, well, we only have two feathers on us right now. Well, that's okay. that bear is chasing us or not, but I'm not taking that chance either. Yeah, I don't hear him, so I don't think he's behind us. right there. Beautiful. There's a pearl right below us. Might as well get the pearl. Starting to get dark, so we want to slowly make our way back to the base. Yep. There's the sun going down right there towards our base. Beautiful. Come on. Additional herbs. some ore. Yep. Not much nails this time, guys. Oh no. Kind of got cheated out of uh, nails, but that's okay. We did drop some stuff off earlier, so we probably had more than what we got on us now, but that's fine. running around it just makes sense to go ahead and craft stuff 
because then, then that's time that you don't have to waste when you get back to your base if you have to then want to craft something. And in the beginning, until you need stuff that needs uh, more than 100 mass, just let it do the default recharge on its own. Don't waste items trying to make mass. It's just not worth wasting those resources. Is this one just recharge? Yeah, no, it's not. That's okay. Alright. We're doing good, though. We made it back right before the darkness hit. We're going to go right on the back. Oop, look. Got him. That is what I'm talking about. Got us a little bit of food. Portage. Let's go ahead and eat that. Let's extract the seeds on that baby right there. Got some copper. You all know, whenever you see copper, you take it. Nope, don't see anything over there. Sometimes you'll see some ore right over there. There's nothing there. Okay, we're doing good. Alright, so let's put some wood in there. Butcher. Let's cook that chicken. Alright, guys. We are doing really good far as gathering resources I'd have to say we're doing pretty good eat this and then we're gonna do some fishing we got six lures so we're gonna use all six of them lures out there oh well, until it becomes daytime again then we're gonna hit the road yeah, we can drink some water while we're down there we can then go and fill up those two canteens alright we can eat one probably not gonna be able to eat the second one but that's okay most important thing now. Oh, you know what we can do? Make a second stairs. Let's go there. Crafting. Let's craft a second stair right there. Let's craft a ceiling. Close up that gap right down there. Turned out pretty good. Let's make sure we don't have nothing in the I just like to make sure I've ruined stuff before and I burn food all the time. And so I don't wanna end up burning food again. Alright. Let's put that baby right up in there. Beautiful. I just that's more for the optic. It's not really anything else. So this is going to be the walls. So then we got to do the outside perimeter. So it's going to turn here, go that way. Yeah, yeah. We got plans, people. We got plans. Okay. And launch.
So we might be able to like fish like maybe three times before daytime. And then uh, what we'll do, I'll show you guys a good spot to get lithium. And then I'll also show you then a good spot to get uh, obsidian. There we go. What do we got, people? Come on. Give us something nice. So my recommendation is the little fish just harvest them for the oil and then the big fish they give you plenty of food so you just gotta hope you get a, a nice big fish in one of them like that's a little one so that's just gonna be a harvest that's nothing there's a bear over there you see that like dirt kind of pop up that's like a bear just digging in the ground I guess for grubs or worms or something So let's see how many times we can fish before daytime. Hopefully at least we can get one big fish out of this. That'll give us then plenty of food to take Riff out on the next run. But we're about to hit that one hour mark. So this might then be the end of this uh, recording. I hope you liked so far. Um, the next 10 days, like I said, I'm going to be farming really just a bunch of materials. And just getting all the basics that we need for the base. I'll get a, uh, a, a refinery. I'm going to get a, um, a refrigerator, a generator, increase my maximum uh, amount of electricity that we can have, stuff like that. And then we're going to be looking good. So. In 10 days from now, guys, hopefully the base will be at least the outside shell will be done. And we'll go from there. And the windows, we're going to move down here. So the up floor up there will all be just a solid wall. And the reason why is because I plan on turning it into glass walls. And of course, if they're going to be glass walls, oh, damn it. The bird just stole our freaking fish. Oh, yeah. So I didn't even pay attention. I was busy talking. So there, that's how you can lose a fish. I have never seen a fish at nighttime. That's the first time. So that was just really bad luck. But yeah. Um, we're just, I'm just going to get all the basic stuff that we need. Yeah, I, I can't believe that that bird came out at night. I'm telling you, as soon as we get a chance, we're making a weapon that can use the incendiary rounds. And I'm telling you, when that damn eagle comes, we're going after him. So right now, eagles one, us zero. But we will get revenge. And that was a big fish. So that was either a bass, a pike, or a salmon. Oh, this is a big one. Oh, this is a bass, I think. No, that's a salmon. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Well, I'll let you guys watch me fish during the daytime, and then we'll go ahead and end this ep episode. Again, like I said, I'm just going to farm a bunch of resources, uh, get the base pretty much ready to where it needs to be, and then we're not going to wait that long. Uh, as soon as the base hits the hits the hits what we need, we're going to enable the, um, the hunters right off the bat. Because we want those weapon parts so that we can upgrade our weapons. And we're not going to be able to do that unless we can um, get weapon parts. And trying to get enough weapon parts from locked boxes would take forever. Uh, we're better off just um, killing the hunters. So that's going to be our goal then after that. Because one, you kill them the first time, you get the weapon parts, and then when they come back and do a revenge attack, you get uh, weapon parts again. So it's it's like a double whammy. So if like two guys in each base comes and attacks you, there's a possibility of getting eight. Uh, you get two weapon parts, so that's eight. That's a total of 16 weapon parts we could get off of one round if they all drop it. But they all don't, unfortunately. 
But yeah, that stupid eagle. So now we know the eagle can come at any time. Most of the time, he only comes during the daytime. That's why I fish at night, so that I don't get the e my fish stolen by the eagle. But I guess they caught on to that shit. Oh, sorry for the language. Stupid eagle. Eagle Smeagle. There we go. What do we get this time? Maybe we'll get a bass. I mean, a bass is the best to get. You get four fishing oils, and you get four pieces of meat. The salmon that we just got, we only get two pieces of meat. It will max out our, our health, which is good. But I would rather prefer to have gotten... I mean, anytime, if I could get a choice between a bass, the pike, or the salmon, I'm always going to ask for the bass. Yeah, this is definitely not a big fish. You can't even see it. Okay. All right, see? So, again, like I said, the little fish, you immediately harvest them. Don't even eat them. They're just not worth it. You fillet him, and then we got another two oils right there. So, unfortunately, we don't have a fridge, so we're going to eat that. Max that baby out. All right. And now let's take a quick look at the BCU. So the max energy is almost maxed out. If we had metal fragments, we could do that, but we don't. In order to do that, we need a refinery. So as soon as it hits 500, we're going to make a refinery. And then we still got to have a generator before we can do a fridge. But that's fine. That is fine. We got this, guys. We are doing really good. Oh, I forgot to even get the water. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, There we go. Look at that. And our food is already maxed out, so now we're going to be good uh, for the next little bit until the food goes bad. Of course, the food goes bad, you're screwed. And there's no timer on it, so you don't really know when it's going to go bad. But that's okay. We already got one. The lock boxes will give us a lot of these tonics sometimes. But we need the refinery. So the refinery will be next. We're going to do that. We're just going to drop it somewhere. Um, uh, not, yeah, that's just the water. So I'll show you what I plan on doing. So... So the windows are going to be down here, because this is going to be kind of like my main floor, living floor type environment. And then the next floor upstairs is going to be all all wall. And I, I got a cool idea. I'm not going to tell you what it guys I'm going to do, so you're going to have to watch the next episode that I uh, the next episode that I do. But I'm going to do something really cool. Y'all going to be like, what? did he just do like I'm that's that's how much of a wow moment it's gonna be trust me you guys are gonna be like what the heck it's gonna be cool trust me you're gonna like it I promise but yeah so this is gonna be like kinda like the main time for living environment here this is gonna be like my manufacturing floor right there so like we would have to do ceilings like how many can we make how many do we need we need one two three four five six seven do we have enough to make seven one two three four five okay we had enough to do five okay guys so thanks for watching so far i hope you guys are enjoyed it and i will see you guys on the next one so have a nice evening or have a nice day whenever you're watching it if you haven't subscribed hit that subscribe and hit that follow so you can go ahead and catch the next episodes when i release them